okay guys so today we have to see what is a vdc a virtual device context and how to create a vdc what is a virtual device context a virtual device context is taking your switch and you can create multiple virtual switches inside this switch now here we are talking about the nexus switch cisco nexus 7000 series switch in here there is something called a virtual device context by default present that is of the vdc id 0 i am talking about the supervisor sup2 let us see which sup we have sup2 or sup2e if i say i have a supervisor 2 or if i say sup2e it will have the admin vdc which will not have any interfaces inside it so this will be the vdc id 0 and this will be the admin vdc admin vdc and this is the vdc id 0 that will have all the unallocated interfaces so let us see this is my nexus 7001 i have just rebooted my device i don't want a secure password let us see do i want to enable the admin vdc i will say yes to it i want to create an admin vdc so i have two vdcs by default you can say this is the by default vdc id 0 and this is the admin vdc now this vdc will not be capable of having any of the interfaces inside it so how do i do that now i will be over here and i will allocate interfaces from here after creating another vdc so i am now in the admin vdc and i will take interfaces from this vdc id 0 and i will create a logical vdc you can say this vdc will have an id of vdc 1 and i will allocate interfaces to this vdc we can also give it a name so how do you create a vdc i will say just enter my admin credentials and by default you can say configure terminal the key is not required configure i'll give the switch name n7k1 and show vdc membership as of now there is this vdc id 0 that has all the unallocated interfaces and all the interfaces are here and this is my admin vdc if you type where it will tell you where are we now i want to say vdc first this is my first vdc so i am creating a vdc over here you can also hit a control c and then you can come out but let us wait now after creating a vdc i will allocate it with two interfaces 4 slash 5 and 4 slash 12. let us go ahead and do that so let us wait for the vdc to come online So my VDC is online now. I will say allocate interfaces Ethernet 4 slash 5 comma E4 slash 12. I will say yes to it. You should always remember the port grouping of this. If this port is in a port group, then all the group switch on chip ports will be allocated there also. You can also, also check show interface e4 slash 5 capabilities I, as of now i am in the wrong vdc so it does not permit how will i check that i will say switch to switch to vdc first the name of the vdc and i am inside that box now where am i i am standing inside this vdc called the first vdc this is how you create a VDC and you go inside this VDC. Let us see, have we created a VDC successfully? And password for it. Again, authentication. So I am inside my first VDC. I can check show interface brief and it tells me that it has two interfaces. I can also say show interface E4 slash 5 to see the port grouping sorry capabilities i forgot capabilities it will tell me as of now there is no port group member so how do i get back i can say interface e4 slash 5 i can turn these interfaces on also 
no shut and i can say exit i cannot jump from one vdc to another vdc for example if i have another vdc i cannot jump from here because this is my logical switch this has only two interfaces so i have to go back on this vdc and then create another vdc over here so i can create another vdc also from that basic switch and this switch i can name it as second so how can we do that i can say switch back and then i am over here if you do not want this name also you can also say no vdc combined host name so this host name will not be visible to the tenant if you want if i say switch to vdc first okay the host name is not here why am i not prompted for a password because by because of role based access control i am the v network administrator here i become the vdc admin i can also say configure terminal vdc second i am creating as of now i don't have the license so i'll say license grace period this will give me a grace period of 120 days and now it will allow me to create one more vdc virtual device context so i can give him 4/24 and this switch becomes two logical switches inside so i will allocate the e4/24 on this switch let us wait for a second so my other switch has come online let us say allocate interface e4/24 no yes i want to allocate it and i will say switch to vdc second i am in that vdc and basic configuration dialog no i don't want to do that configure terminal show interface brief the good thing about nxos is you don't have to say do in front of any command i see that i have one interface over here i can select e4/24 no shut this one down ip address 1.1.1.2/30 no shut is already given no need i'll say switch back now i have to say switch to vdc first so that i will go inside that vdc so this vdc has e4/24 e4/24 and this vdc has 4/5 i will give an ip address i gave it 1.1.1.2 i will give him 1.1.1.1 so how are we going inside we are using the management plane for example if you say this is the way so i am going across this vdc from here 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 i cannot switch from here to here because it is not allowed and if you want to have communication between between two vdcs you need to use a physical cable and that is what we are doing so let's go back to the first vdc let's go in here configure terminal interface e the net 4/5 no shut ip address 1.1.1.1/30 and let's say end show cdp neighbor show cdp neighbor i see a neighbor can i ping e can i ping 1.1.1.2 so this is myself i'll say ping the neighbor destination host unreachable by default it will use the vrf default and you can see that we have successful communication from one virtual device context to another device context okay thank you